There's no one to be spotted to be. It is a four-man A stack right now, and Relics is here to meet him. Oh, gets one. Almost the second. So close there. Texan cute fat boy. Get a couple kills themselves. But there's still players in wait. C9 has three members here, and that is a good read by Equinox there. They TP away. Mitch is in the TP as well right now, so he's going to be a thorn in their side, but the spike should get planted onto the site. Oh, this fight is so important, but doesn't look like it'll finish just yet, actually. <laughs> there it goes. Shock dart onto Mitch. Tech takes down Sunny, and that just leaves Vice it's looking pretty hopeless at this point. He does have the Sheriff, so maybe he can find some damage. But this looks like it'll be round two for Equinox here. You know, that was some impressive arrow work from Dixon uh, that round. Speaking of arrows, Vice tries to put one in the corner and pull a three-map series, three different agents, three different roles. So you have a duelist, you have a, oh my gosh, well, I get a controller, and you have a sentinel all across the series. And to be fair, he played well, but the question is whether or not a proper agent can take that to the next level. Here, though, Equinox is stomping out Cloud9. They didn't really stand too much of a chance, as, again, the firepower disadvantage was a heavy factor in this scenario. Vice coming through spawn with just a sheriff in their hands. You've got one also outside showers. That'll be Mitch, who is working with the classic. So it's not exactly something you'd expect to see success with. We've seen strong pistol rounds from teams, but not in a two-on-five post plan. No, not quite. Seems pretty unlikely for C9 to get anything here as you're seeing Equinox fall back through showers. Mitch, I mean, he'll have an opportunity, but he's got to be pinpoint accurate with this. And you will only find the one. Well, Vice actually does take down one, but just play the angle. Paranoia oh. is out. Oh, it actually misses the mark, but Mitch can't hit the shot either. Vice pulls out the Hunter's Fury. He's able to take down another, and Cloud9... Looking like they might be able to pull off the clean round here, but Fatboy is so close. Oh, wow. The double kill from him actually changes things immediately. And Dixon's able to take down Vice. Yeah, 1v2 DXN. situation. He was all the way up short. So th this push that was coming through, it was kind of relying on them to get some of that, that early kill, the, the early kill so he could try and lock down Heaven for them. But there was just too much pressure there, too much waiting for them. Now, D DXN has actually managed to force this down to a 1v1 with spike control and 45 seconds left. There's opportunity. Keep in mind, too, Recon Dart just came up along with Hunter's Fury. So DXN has a lot to work with and ultimately could back off and play this spike. That's a quick fault line coming out from Breach. Again, it's Sunny with 200 ping. This is going to be an incredibly difficult 1v1 to play in. And DXN has this one red so masterfully, but no! Oh. Sunny! A hunt term, but in the short term, it seemed to work at least against a team like Five United. But Equinox is a beast of a different breed. That is a huge nano swarm. Go Cute run, fat boy cannot get away from it. So great placement from Leaf. There's the Hunter's Fury coming out from DXN this time, sending pulse after pulse. There's the Rolling Thunder, though, from the other side. Showstopper, knives out. It's ults across the board. It's mayhem on the site, but it all falls down to one remaining oh. player as Mitch dies. That's Vice, Sunny, and Relics, respectively. Now, Tex is quickly into the site. Relics isn't prepared, completely overwhelmed, was waiting on the flash. Tex execute Sunny as well. The man they call Zeta, Sunny in the server, was not able to help out his teammate in time. Vice, at least, shows up and picks up one quick kill before escaping back into the elbow. Leaf is coming up from spawn. You've got Mitch now also working through Hookah. Leaf blowing along with the wind out from spawn. Quick pickup on to DXN. There's Tex popping off, though. That's four kills on the round from the player we profiled. <laughs> he just busted it open. All right. Sunny challenging pancakes towards middle. Okay. We'll find one, but does he? Yeah, I don't think he knows that they're all over this side already in Tex. He's just going to keep collecting these bodies. Two dead in Hookah. He's even looking for more if there's anyone that pushed. But doesn't look like there will be anyone to greet him. The rest of the C9 team will be coming from their own spawn. Nina is here and waiting. It would actually be pretty important if he's able to find a couple of these kills here. He'll uh, be able to get the run it back into the next round if he gets just one more. And you can tell that he's really going for it. Yeah. There we go. He's got the ultimate for the next round. So another tool at the disposal of Equinox. 
Relics is right on the site. This should be a free kill. He's going to at least try to take down a couple players with him because he's just going to stick this or get it really close so that they approach in. This is actually so much damage now that the spike blows up. Yeah, yeah, that's... With an operator, there's going to be a curveball coming out from that in just a second. There's the curveball. Nice flash. That forces Mitch to use Tailwind to get out of dodge. Vice is on site and has to worry as they're coming in closer Ooh. and closer. Mitch survives for the time being, as does Vice. Vice finds two kills on the round, round while Mitch pulls out the wow. knives. Make it three for Vice, the in-game leader for Cloud9. Fox is going to expect, expect this again. I feel like they're assuming that C9 is going to be having two players here, but look at the defense already. Sunny is here and ready in position. But actually, DXN and Mina are able to connect with a couple of kills. Spike will be going down. That lockdown comes out now. And Mitch, he actually had to go through the teleporter to get himself out of there safely. So he's in a very awkward position. Relics with the paranoia, but Fatboy, it doesn't even matter if this guy can see. He takes him out. 2v3 now. No players detained. Leaf is going to have to wait for Mitch just a little bit here. He doesn't really have any more tools to help him get into the site. But he's here with his partner in crime. Leaf takes down Mina. He knows that there's another player there. Player in Hookah has to try to do something now. And Leaf just <laughs> takes them all down. 4K for Leaf. He was working with practically nothing there other than his aim, but that's all. Heavily on Taxu's insight. Can Cute Fat Boy get this one done? That's a 1-2 wow. catching Vice with the drone and Relics going for the flash and smoke. Wasn't really going to work out so well. Cute Fat Boy's now found three as Sunny was going for the fault line behind them. And it works out so incredibly well for Equinox rounds but a fast play from c9 towards short may actually get the spike down for them there is so much disturbance on the site right now and vice somehow able to find one with the classic there but the cleanup crew has arrived in the form of tex he's here and he is hungry for some of these kills he's making his way up on the site but there's still so much utility to bother these players actually right now and sunny doing work with the classic that is unexpected the spike is actually not getting diffused right now and c9 have the man advantage but tex he's doing his best to try to mitigate these numbers but it's not able to happen c9 might just steal this one here in fact it looks very likely given that tex has to try to commit to this short fight now there's still some time here this nade pretty much just has to kill oh it's, it's so close he does yeah he he got the kill and he he has the time. I think he's got it. He's yeah, got it. he's got yeah. it. He's going to have it by like 25. Yeah, there you go. Some verticality using updraft to get up high on the site. Wait a second. Sunny oh, what? actually getting a kill that we typically don't see as breach. That shouldn't have happened. Relics holding down the flank. Looks away at the worst possible time after getting the kill on Tex. But it doesn't matter at this point. The round is falling apart. And Leaf is oh, wow. on cleanup, dude. I probably would have. Well, site's been lost as the defense pretty much vacated the premises. The remaining four now forced to try and retake. It's good shooting from Pancakes, taking down Sunny. Revenge from the previous round after Pancakes did fall to an aftershock from Sunny, something we don't see happen all that often. Relics drops Tex. That's the obvious and most alarming threat currently contained and neutralized. Camera around the corner, also dropped immediately by Mitch. The remaining two currently in back hall. Pancakes is upgraded to a sheriff, and they're throwing the guns away as they don't want to give anything, even just a little bit of money, over to Equinox. The score is about to be tied as this retake is impossible. Oh, it's going to be a double push towards showers. Leaf got caught sleeping, though, and he will pay the price for it. Pancakes picks up a couple. And now the advantage firmly lies in favor of Equinox. Cute Fat Boy continues to clean up, taking down Relics and Vice. And all in all, this looked like a good setup for a C9, but just weren't ready for that double showers aggression. And Equinox fighting on their own terms, that really seemed to be the difference maker here. That's buckets, empty buckets right now on that flank play. Should have worked out so much better. Mina's able to sneak into this corner on top of site and spot out Leaf, but not before Leaf had already taken down one oh. of the teammates for Equinox. Sunny with a nice pickup onto Pancakes as well. Sunny has had Pancakes number this game. It seems like things just work out so well for Sunny in the duels against Pancakes. Again, Sunny being Zeta. The last remaining players getting sliced and diced to pieces here, and it brings it all down to DXN on the site.
in the 1v2. Has to watch out as Relics is still here sneaking inside the smoke. There's one more. It's now coming from Showers, though. Vice has the ult available. The Recon Dart comes out, gets taken out almost immediately. Gonna stick the spike, get it to halfway. The shots don't line oh. up. Vice securing defense compared to three that we saw from the defensive looks on the B site from Cloud9. Flash is coming in from Sunny to clear out the close areas. There's Mina picking up a kill on that player, Sunny. That'll be some of the flash threat gone. Hot hands and curveballs coming out. Equinox is doing oh, wow. everything they can to stomp it out and not going to be there to try and defend it. Texas spending this round running around in spawn. Nice oh. rolling thunder coming out, and that's going to allow Mitch to get into this position. Now the blaze wall does temporarily oh. cover up, but Mitch is there with two. Another for oh. Mitch, but it's a trade. The rocket and the knives come through at the same time. Now, unfortunately, Cloud9 made the wrong call here. They've gone through portal and they're shifting over to B. What they don't realize is Pancakes is still here and that turret will not clear out this position. That allows Pancakes to strike and it comes down to the 1v1. 10 seconds left. Relics has no choice but to try and stick it. Pancakes with the clutch. They somehow pulled it back. They'll have to try to just lock it down outright this time around. Relics? He's to the back of side, actually. He might be able to find something, but actually, Sunny gets the opening kill there. That's the second time. Yeah, <laughs> he's been doing really good work with that, and put so much pressure on them, but Mina's putting pressure on them himself. Two kills for him. Vice now remains at Garden. 1v4 situation. He takes down Mina, needs to find more. He has the Hunter's Fury, but he doesn't want to pull it out. Tex is able to take him down, and that's it for map number one. Equinox take down Cloud9 in a nail-biter game. Defender. Cloud9 were on 11 rounds for so long. Mitch do what he did last night. Only one way to find out as we kick off the pistol round here in the first half. And it will be Equinox starting on the defensive side, which is obviously not so fun for Cloud9. No, it's not. Uh, we'll see what they're able to find. Tex instantly flashed out. Mitch is able to find that one. Perfect flash point there from Sunny to help enable Mitch to find that opener. And now mid control is firmly in the grasp of C9. And they're making their way towards this A site. Great cloud burst as well to try to find something. Oh, Pinkies, he's playing right in the middle of the open with a short. He gets one. Uh, that is, uh, for me, better than expected. 4v3 situation though, and C9 are firmly in the advantage right now. They're just swarming everybody that even comes close to heaven, leaving Mina in the 3v1. But oh wait, taking down Mitch. All right, Frenzy, what do you got for me? The shorty was an interesting pick. Like the song says, shorty's like a memory in my head. It's a, but... it's a melody, melody. Melody, yeah, whatever. <laughs> I'm old, I can't remember these things. Memory is a problem for me. You know what's funny is I remembered that yesterday and I was waiting for a chance to use it and it never came up. And then I just thought of it now and totally bot botched the line. It's fine. Mina, 1v1 off the 1v3. But this is playing, play, uh, being played really well by Zeta, who's currently up in heaven. Oh, oh my goodness. The shot comes out, but I don't think there will be time. That's going to detonate now. And 0.79 left on the defuse. Um, that is... Treated by Relics in the mail room. But Mitchell uh, start things off first. He takes down the uh, opposing top fragger in Tex and keep that boy just a little bit too far up on the row. It's just at this point, C9, they're going to win the round. It's just a matter of how much damage is actually going to be going their way. Pancakes, all right. He starts with one and actually Relics turns around and Mina's able to pick up a kill on his own too. Still a uh, 3v2 advantage, huge lurk on leaf and okay he's all the way actually in defender spawn right now he's trying to cut them off but it looks like equinox are comfortable clearing that angle paranoia goes their way it doesn't quite reach and they're actually still going for this sunny okay i gotta give props to sunny on these kind of jiggle air strafes he's so clean with them and sorry it's vice not leaf on the on the killjoy the time that's remains. what they did yesterday leaf's actually on the omen now just trying to defend this in his camera that i thought he was definitely good for at least one maybe two kills in that position but it was Mitch that actually ended up winning the duel. Now, Hex is trying to make the proactive play. The aggression works out, but oh, he reloads in the wide open and Relics is able to clean up because of that. Tex had at least three bullets left in the chamber there, but just chose the least optimal time to go for the reload. And well, Mina, 
actually pushing on forward will find a kill of his own they've boxed in these c9 players they need to try to crunch on them at some point here and they're gonna keep doing that and they actually take down mitch and leaf as well this round has turned on its head relics got that those openers towards a they may expect him to come from sewers or maybe ropes, but no, Relics makes the huge rotation all the way through his own. That likely should have been theirs, but they somehow got fumbled away. Now, Pancakes gets spotted by Mitch, jumping up onto the box in the corner. Mitch was holding and waiting for that one to come through. It is a five on three in favor of Cloud9 yet again. See if Equinox can find any way to get back in this one. It looks like the positions are very strong, but Mina's got to do a lot of work. He gets one on the relics there, but Mitch is still on this flank, and it looks like he should be good to get this kill towards Heaven. Oh, she's able to push on forward. Might have actually missed out on a kill because of that, and now Mina's able to recover. It gets another. 1v3 situation, though, and cute fat boy. It's Mitch. He's in a decent spot, actually. This is just how they're able to play the 2v1. And cute fat boy takes down Sunny. Okay. Equinox. Bit of charge into the B site. We're going to see an execute here in a moment from Cloud9. They're waiting on Leaf to try and bait them out of position. And you've got one waiting around the corner. Had utility out for a second. And actually goes back to it. So cute fat boy caught off guard. Mina picks off Leaf. But now they need to move in and try and stop the spike plant. DXN going huge with the short, the uh, shotgun. It's the Bucky. Luckily for Cloud9, he was unable to swap to the, the sniper rifle in time, so the operator Jeez. currently being juggled around here by Relics. He wants to pick it up. Nice shot from Relics. Swaps now to the rifle. Paint shells going out, knowing that Mina is waiting on the other side, and the fuse is now burning down lower and lower here on the rocket. There's the blast, oh. and there's hit in midair from Relics. An unbelievable rocket play. Trying to remember the game that was actually from. I know I was casting it. I just can't remember. I've seen so many split games because that two was also on split. Now Relics getting the first kill on the round. And, oh, okay, sure. Relics spams through dark cover and finds another. Relics just wants to keep spilling blood. Oh, yep. There's three on the round. Relics is using Mitch's computer confirmed. It's down to just one. It's cute fat boy as Relics carves apart the defense on the opposite side of the map. It other side backing off everyone from c9 hitting stride as they continue to move towards heaven relics has gotten into the corner in mail room there's mina at least chiming in with a response stopping relics who's been on an absolute tear a nice paranoia coming in but no one's pushing off the back of that one it actually looks like they might want to crunch a the problem is sunny's got spike all the way over towards b now they do have mid control so they can take that spike through the sewers and that's what you see happening currently they're going to lean on this player in mid pretty heavily, but it's actually going to be up mid. And the concern is Mina's holding the line right now. Will Mina get this opener as they cross? No. Mina's not actively checking as they sneak across. So now it's all on the players currently on the A site. Cute Fat Boy peaks at the perfect time. Nice flashes coming out as well from DXN to slow this one down. It has the looks of a potential round, and you can understand throwing out the Rolling Thunder in that scenario. 14 seconds left, and I don't think they stand a chance. They've got to get out and get across onto the site. There's a player peeking, and Cute Fat Boy, who's found three. It's now down to the last remaining player, and cute fat boy gonna find a 4k coming in from Cloud9. They're ticking that clock down, and they catch Mina looking the wrong way. So Relics comes down the ropes, and Mina's trying to keep their head on a swivel watching both directions. Now that forces Sunny out of position. Vice is able to drop Tex. There's a Killjoy ult being popped over on A. That should pull them completely away from the site, and that's exactly what ends up happening. You actually have the ult being utilized as well by the opposing Omen. So everything falls apart. And the round could potentially be that of Cloud9's. Equinox has lost the player closest to the site. It's the last round of the half. Otherwise, you'd be calling for a save here. There's the ult being called by Leaf as well to give away the position of one of those players. The Cypher spotted Relics with an execution onto cute fat boy. Leaf closes out the round. Really myself. All right. Let's see, though. C9, they're going to need to inject something into their veins if they want to win this one. Four players here coming in, and uh, looks like it's not going to be as easy as it may have seemed. Sunny actually gets the opening onto Mina there, and Vice is taking some very advanced positioning. Okay, the utility is coming in for C9, and they're cleaning up house on this B site. This all-in play is not working out for Equinox. After against, I believe it's Ghost, who's waiting yes. in the wings. Oh, 
Oh, Mitch is still able to get a kill there. Mina falls and Tech's now on the site, but there's not much more utility left in store for Equinox here. It looks like finally their time is done on split, and that will be it for Alive for C9. 13 to 4 score line. Excellent game from C9 starting in and shut the door. Now, there are two players currently turtled up in the back of the site, currently in Boathouse. You've got Vice side by side with Sunny, and Sunny, also known as Zeta, is trying to do as oh. best as they can. Sunny finds two kills on the round. Not too shabby for a player with 188 ping. Now the spike will touch pay dirt, and it's a three on three. Relics, he's setting up that smoke. It's going to smoke off a side of Boathouse there. Mitch, he's ready to go with Leaf. Entries come in. Another smoke, though, that actually really can help out Equinox a lot. But they don't know what's happening. Equinox aren't sure if that spike is being defused, and actually, they just have to force themselves out. First round, they're going to get that extra cash. But Cloud9 might just be ready for this one, and yeah, that's not how you want to see things go down. This is literally the exact same strat that we saw in the last round. They're just diving into the site, hoping that maybe the defense won't be prepared. Initially, it was, but eventually it does fall. So it will be Cloud9's site to retake as Equinox. They grab up full control, they gather up that spike, and they drop it down on the site. Taking a look at that zoomed-in section of the radar, shout out to our observers making that one possible. You can see just how things are shaping up. All four players in positions. Nice setup from Equinox with cute fat boy back behind the boxes. There's one around the corner. The paranoia does at least produce success initially for Relics, who makes it impossible to actually do anything about it without going straight in and trying to do a fight off of it. Now, I like this initially here from Cloud9. They do get a couple exchanges going their way. Mina, quick response after hearing the reload. So the audio cue coming in off the fresh magazine going into the stinger for Relics results in his demise. And it's up to Mitch. He was the hero for Cloud9 yesterday on split. He took a back seat to Relics, who took control of that position just now as we watch split play out. Mitch has to go through the door and just doesn't clear the corner. Wrapped up like a nice little... The Al drone will spot them out as it flies into the site. If anyone shows themselves, there is a dart that's delivered. There's the ult being popped by DXN, looking for that dancing target with the ulti, but can't quite connect off the first pulse. Did some damage, but never found a follow-up. Now they're trying to cascade out from heaven, the waterfall onto the site, but Sunny's the only one left in that position, and somehow Sunny again chiming in with a kill. This time it's not Pancakes who's been his pincushion, it's actually cute fat boy, Mitch. All that remains of the defense here for Cloud9, but Mitch does have the trusty op. Will Mitch get into position oh. in time? Oh! <gasps> Pixels! And Mitch doesn't have a choice but to try and speed up, to try and spot the spike on its way through. Constantly just behind the play, left. wants to get a better position. Nice shock dart from the opposition to try and slow him down. I like oh. the positioning here from Pancakes, cutting off yeah. the rotate. Tex, though, just keeps on moving in. That's the ult being popped by Sunny to try and slow down the push. The Rolling Thunder does open up opportunities for Cloud9 as they've got themselves in a three on two. Cute Fat Boy wanders into the smoke and Relics is already inside of it. Now Mina gets vertical off the tailwind and there's players waiting to greet them. Already have the site. Spike is being planted and Equinox, they know that in this kind of situation, they need a fight out. Oof. Tex just goes for the swing onto Mitch and completely obliterates him. Now, the follow-up for Tex isn't where it needs to be, so Cute Fat Boy looked like he was going to dodge that flash, but actually ends up backing up and I think walking into its path. I thought it may, it may have gone over his head initially. Tough to say, but it doesn't matter in the end. Equinox, find number six. They're back on the saddle troll just like that. We're at a minute and 28 seconds, and the full team is on that A site. Not how you want to see things go. Relics is currently in heaven with an op. They're starting to move in. You can see two players just behind. Now, Relics with a quick shot out onto Tex. That's massive. There's an aftershock going through as well in towards Hell. They'll take out the drone as one of their other pieces is finally coming through from door. It's all going to be about the post plant positioning currently set up for Equinox. They've got two players underneath them. They've got one currently set up on generator plus one A long. Pancakes has to step up big here inside the smoke, oh. not in fourth, but it will be Equinox who come out on top with two players surviving. There are still a couple of ults for C9. 
I'm not sure if you caught that either. Vice went for lockdown, and they used Hunter's Fury on the attacking side to take out the lockdown. That was the reason for that lockdown, or for that Hunter's Fury call. So they killed the lockdown. So all that utility that they utilized kind of just disappeared. Now on the attempted push back into the site, you're down to just Sunny, who manages to at least take down one. He's bull out of the tournament either way. Viso holding outside of the main. Okay, reloads, but it, oh, he's able to pick up two. Those are huge kills. And Relics gets one on his mid lurk as well. This is the start that C9 definitely needed if they want to get into this one. All right, Leaf pushing into A on top of that. It will give his, some, his team some information here as to where the final members of Equinox are. It's just a matter of getting this spike all the way over to the B site now. Mina, though, spots out a player at top mid. And DXN and him will connect. Try to get through market at this point. Shoots, they both shoot down the door. Relics is here in a great one and done angle. Paranoia comes out. They're both nearsighted now. And this is such a hard retake for Equinox at this point. If they even find a kill, I'll be pretty surprised. And yeah, they're just getting peppered by bullets here. Mitch on the frenzy. Just making their life ever more difficult. And they're still looking for something, but definitely looks like the first round is going to be going the way of C9. All right, dashes out. Mitch takes one down, and Mitch finds the next as well. The A site leaf is scratched up pretty heavily, down to 45 HP. Debated going up on top of heaven, but decides not to. Ends up dropping Tex, but is down to 52 HP. Wants to at least spill a little bit more blood, maybe get a wow. heal out of it. Will end up dropping pancakes. There's the self heal, but the retake is already underway as Mina's on site. But the last player standing is DXN. Catches one going for the reload. There's one more underneath. That's just kind of what happens when you're changing agents all the time. It, it can be extra difficult, even though we know him for how raw his mechanical ability can be. This might help him out, though. Even though these are eco kills right here, just get that confidence. You know, find something here. Get a little pub stompy in you and... Yeah, just hunt them. This is what I'm talking about. That's what I like to see from a player like Leaf. And himself on the board. Kind of like... Kind of like in the NBA. When you're at the free throw line after missing a couple... Of... Come through. Rolling Thunder going out as well. That's going to break things up. Make it a little bit more difficult here for Pancakes. Who's got to defend on his own. Leaf has already popped Empress. And that makes things all that much harder. The heal comes through for Leaf. Back to full. Aftershock's going to come out. But it's actually cute fat boy to peek. Leaf is there again with another one. And Leaf there finding a go. third. Does Leaf get the 4K going to the sidearm? Sure. There we go. Why not? Leaf, incredible performance. Into this map. It, Leaf as Reyna just makes sense. Now Mina pushes up, gets spotted by the turret. That gives Vice a false sense of security. Goes for the Y peak. Doesn't work out so well. Hunter's Fury going out onto the site. You've got DXN backing off. And there's one more on the site as well. As you can see, Leaf getting closer and closer, inching forward. Has to be careful. There's the drone. Has to worry about the Empress pop that just came through. That'll scare him and force his attention to the other side of the box as the peak comes out. But unfortunately, he was dropped before anything could really happen. Now it's Tex's time to shine. He's seen Leaf do his handiwork as Reyna, but no, doesn't actually get the heal off. So Mitch is able to survive. Mitch also has spike control and 55 seconds to work with. Plenty of time for Mitch to play mind games. Mitch actually Ooh. shuts the door and then goes onto the other side. Love the move. Now, what does Mitch decide to do? Because Mitch knows they saw that and are ultimately going to be moving into position. Mitch starts to run through spawn, decides to go back around through market. Is the door open? Yes, it is. So it will be a plant coming in for Mitch. 70 HP with the ult available in the 1v2. Oh, this is big. He brings out the knives. They're both coming from spawn right now. Is he going to wrap them right now? Oh, oh, the camera comes out. They know exactly what's happening now. The jig is up, but he goes for the updraft, but they shoot him right out of the sky. Oh, I thought there was a chance, though, but to take it in the end. But they grabbed one round, retained control of the scoreboard for now. Mitch very far up in his position. Tex getting flashed out of that spot. The ult from Relics is canceled. Mitch is now moving in closer to spawn. I love the use of this smoke here. That Ooh. allows this creative play against Mina as the spam comes through. And in the meantime, kills took place elsewhere on the map and have brought it down to now just to DXN in the boathouse. Can't get much going. The ult as well popped by their killjoy. Free kill for cute fat boy as Mitch is looking the wrong direction. 
So Nulse is coming out from the dirt, gonna give away that position. Has to move quicker though, as time is starting to become the issue. Breach is still sitting in the backside of U-Haul or Boathouse, waiting for them to push out Sunny and his teammate, Vice, just playing this one. So incredibly patient, cute fat boy. If only he had done that sooner, the flick was masterful. Now, C9 going for that default approach, which they really know and love, but Mina's getting in the face of Vice right now, but good utility from Vice to cover that fallback. He knows the tricks that may be coming in his direction. He's able to clean up. Oh, Leaf. I don't know if he's aware of how close this opposing Cypher is. And the final two members of Equinox are right around this corner here, and Leaf, he's quick to clean them up. Flawless round from C9. That hand, but things have cooled off as Leaf will have to watch from the sidelines. 11-10, Cloud9 controlling the scoreboard, but the round currently in favor of Equinox when you're looking at the player advantage. It's an impressive comeback from Cloud9, all things considered. That first half was not so good. Sunny even, 200 ping, king. Picking off cute fat boy. And all of a sudden, we're back to four on four. And where do they decide to go? It looks like they're going to be moving in towards B. You did hear the ult popped from Mina. That's the knives coming out. Pancakes from backstairs, able to drop Sunny. And there's DXN as well through the wall, dropping Mitch. Mina chimes in with the op. And just like that, it's reduced now down to one. It's Relics who's stuck in the cubby as the knives start slicing. Mina. Gets spotted by the turret there momentarily. Decides to smoke and back off. Probably the right call. You should run. Not much has happened yet. That's the big piece of the round. Now that ult does encapsulate all of the B site. You have to move into market to try to get away from it. But Mina is still here. Hasn't tried to escape, just decides to fight. And like that, Cloud9 gains control of the other site. It's a ruse. The spike is actually moving to A. We've seen it before. We saw it last round and we'll see it here again. It's all up to DXN with an Odin of all things. Now in order to take overtime. That's the first pick going away of Mitch. Nice shooting on Tamina who tried to dash into the site. Flying in didn't work out so well. Leaf is there as well with the rifle. Leaf finds two. Tex though on the backstab. Dismisses away just in the nick of time. Ends up oh. winning the fight against Leaf. Hold the phone. It's a 1v2. And they have sight control now. Tex wants to keep the fight oh. going. Tex finds no the ace. That's a huge play from Tex to give Equinox the leg up in overtime. We're back to a 13-13. They're going to have to run it back. Cute Fatboy in a great spot to potentially get two. Somehow comes up empty-handed in the exchange with Relics. So it's a four on four. Retake certainly possible for Cloud9. Tex, the player we want to watch for obvious reasons. Moving up on sidewalk, has to watch out as Omen's around the corner, dropping Paranoia straight into his path. A Leer as a counter, just in case they decide to push in that direction. Will not be for the time being. Equinox, though, being pushed back further and further with the recon dart, able to spot out one. Mina will find one more. Leaf doing what Leaf does best, picking up two kills, including one onto Tex. Leaf, though, low on HP, 35 that remains. Cloud9 needs to get back into the site. Leaf with great shots coming through, but the time is a problem. The round is lost. DXN even gets the kill in the end to pad the stats. Your team able to secure success in the first overtime, so we have to go and run it back. Mina, quick shot out on the op. Leaf is neutralized. That's a big part of the attack from Cloud9. To lose Leaf that early in the round with no trade coming through, that's huge. Now, Vice has managed to sneak onto the B site. That's great, but the spike again is across the map being planted on A. Cute fat boy and his teammates trying to retake currently have to keep their heads focused behind them a little bit because they have to worry about Vice, who could be coming in on the back side of the play. Now look at Tex, as well, doing the exact same thing to them. Able to get a freebie, no! Oh. Tex! Sunny looked like a free kill. Great work coming out again from Cloud9 to put themselves in this position, and it's all down to Cute Fatboy. Cute Fatboy's found one, tries to transfer the spray across, not meant to be. So there should be an all-out brawl here. Ooh, long-range smoke. Now leave with the opener on Mina. He wanted revenge from that last round. Now Tex though with one will only find the one. Mitch is able to find the trade. Great setup from C9. They're in the 4v3 advantage and they actually can't get the spike quite down yet. Mitch is there to greet Fatboy trying to make a cheeky play through the smoke. And it looks like Equinox, they're getting picked apart. 
Mitch had such a good off angle there. No one would expect someone to be standing just like kind of right in the middle of the doorway. Now, Pancakes almost gets a freebie on device coming out. Nice shot back Whoa. from Pancakes. The flick over directly to the dome, but finally. Forcing the issue on Vice, he's able to take down that Lurk early, but it will, in fact, be an A hit. Mitch is already on the site. Can he clear out Cute Fat Boy? He can't. Leafs can't either. Cute Fat Boy putting up a massive hole, and it looks like we might be going to another overtime. Unless Relics can mimic. Well, no. that's that. <laughs> no, he can't. Yeah. Yeah. Won't even finish that statement. Yeah. Hard is it's not something they might anticipate. Vice holding the op. The quick oh. shot not coming out that they needed. There's one more on the site. Oh, what? Hold on. Oh, Relics. Relics. How is this possible? Relics should have been dead to right, but Mina actually whiffed. And then Pancakes can't follow up. Relics was left with a lowly 30 HP. Equinox, though, they get the spike down, but this is going to be a difficult hold. They need everything to work out for them. Cute fat boy now moving into that position oh. where the aftershock came through, and Mitch, I think, could... Should they go for the dry peak here? Just needs to hit the shot. That's the spike being dropped. That's a lot of intel gathered. That means they can ignore this play over towards B as they know that things are moving in the other direction. DXN, though, that's the Sova with the Odin, a play that we typically expect to see on this map. Now, what they may not anticipate is the advanced position over on the other side of the map as Jet has managed to make it all the way out, but it's falling apart as yet again, the defense holds strong. ...to be stopping Equinox from getting into the site. Speaking of knowing what's coming, it's Leaf. Waiting for Tex around the corner. The flashes do push him out of position, at least momentarily. Leaf has to go back for the peak. Two oh. quick kills coming in for Equinox, as yet again, the first round in this overtime goes their direction, at least early on. It's a four on two, and the two remaining members trying to claw their way back into the site. Relics here at Heaven. We'll have to wait for his partner in crime, Vice. But he will be able to clear out quite a few angles early on. And the Paranoia will catch three. There are three. Okay, actually, it misses Pancakes. I'm a little bit surprised by that. But that just leaves Vice. 1v4. And the double swing comes out. A site, but hold on. Look at the A site. Mitch has actually managed to sneak all the way up to the window. Oh. Tex isn't fooled. He's, he's ready. He's prepared. There must left. have been some inkling or understanding that he was in this position. And things are not looking good for Cloud9 here as it's down to just three. They've got to make their way in now. There's only 17 seconds left. Mina's able to take down Vice. Just two players remain. Sunny's trying to make it happen. Relics is swarming the site with him from the stairs right now. He's able to take down Mina, and he swings around, but he can't catch Dixon. There's Sunny to take down Pancakes, but DXN finishing.